Being a self-contained classroom and teaching all of the areas, uh, Wolfram Alpha is a great place for my kids to go to be able to get all of the information they need as a one-stop shop. They can do their math, they can do their we'll science, they can do their vocabulary, spelling patterns, the they can do all kinds of things right at the Wolfram and Alpha site instead of going to all of the different sites and trying to find all of the information and all of the pieces. And nine-year-olds, that's hard for them to do. So this allows them to be part of the learning without frustration. This allows them to be part of the learning with instant success. I don't have to teach the kids all of these different places to go to get the information. It's just one stop and they can get the information they need and then move on. So that saved us a lot of research time. On one of our centers, we're going to use this site that we've been using for looking up words, right? Now tell me what you have to do when you go to this site and you have to get a definition of a word. What do you have to type in first? Lorna? Word. word. You have to type in word and then you have to type in that word. I have found a use for it really across all disciplinary um, areas. So we use it in language. We started out with vocabulary where the kids type in word and then okay. they type so in the vocabulary word. Scroll and what through. It's, it's been great Here, for like in my classroom is that the information that that's displayed on the chart when the results show up is very easy to analyze for the students. Being nine years old, they don't have to harvest a lot of information from a Google search or a return. Uh, they have a very hard time looking words up in the dictionary. So this is just a no-brainer for me. It gets the vocabulary done in a very short amount of time. They type in the word, the results are displayed easily in a chart that's very appealing to the eye and it's, it's clean, it's not filled with a lot of clutter. They can identify the words that they know, synonyms, parts of speech, in, a, in addition to the definition. So it's kind of all-encompassing for our language arts program because it gives us all of those different all of those different pieces whenever they do their vocabulary. So this makes it very easy and it saves us a lot of class time. This is an example of how I use Wolfram Alpha to incorporate social studies with technology. It is linked right up, mrssmith.com, go to our website. And then down in the bottom right hand corner you are going to see a link for wolframalpha.com. It says online tutor, click on it. Kids go to the computer lab and when they sit down at the lab and they pull up the site, they type in the state name, so Texas, Oklahoma, Arizona, or New Mexico since we're doing the southwest region. And when that information pops up, it, it places it in a nice neat chart that the kids can easily in gather the information that they need to fill out a data collection sheet, something that would look like this. So they fill out the data collection sheet just by putting the state name at the top and then starting to gather the information that we collect to be able to make um, digital slideshows for each state. So they would find the state flower and the state tree and the population as well as uh, the date the state joined the union. So all of that information is located right on the, the site by just typing in the state name. So this is instant information that we can access that's very easy to identify and easy to uh, get on the piece of paper or into the project or into the digital storytelling you know, slideshow. Whatever it is that we're doing, I can easily get the information in there. Okay. So this allows me to actually put the technology in front of them, which engages them. And now they actually use the resource and get the information that they need, and they get it right. So it's, it's, it's instant success. Really, I could describe Wolfram Alpha as, as quite a few different things. I really do feel like it's a one-stop shop for the kids so that they're not constantly trying to figure out where was it that I was supposed to go. Uh, I've, I had a parent class the other night where my parents of the students in my classroom came in and I sat them down and showed them the site so that they could gather the information and I told them it's your, it's your new best friend, it's the teacher's aide, it's your online tutor, it's all of those things that you always wanted to have help for your students and here it is for free. It's the one place I can count on that I can keep the kids safe and get them the accurate information. What's not to love?